Hey everyone, what's up? Uh, let me put on some music real quick. So this is where I'm at right now. <laughs> uh, still waiting to get into the stream. Oh yeah, I was gonna start the stream like after I got in, but it's like, I don't know. I figured we could maybe just like hang out for a little bit while I'm waiting to get in. Uh, thank you to Ski for that resub at tier one for five months. That's awesome. Thank you so much. Um, hey, what's up? Asterio, what's going on? Hope you're doing well. I've refreshed like 20 times. I've refreshed many, many times. Uh, this is going to be a bit of a shorter stream. Um, I think here's what I'm thinking. I'm going to open the packs. I might do a little bit of deck building. Uh, we're going to do a dual room later on today. I am going to stream later today. Um, probably like about 12-ish hours after this one ends. Um, and we can hang out and test some new decks in the, in a dual room. But I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to open it up. Like, I'll open the dual room now, but I won't play in it just yet, but I'll come back to it later. Because I think it might be fun to just have a testing room open. And I was thinking it might even be a good video to just, like, look at some replays from, like, a dual room that's left open and just see what people are, like, cooking up. Um, yeah, so that's just kind of my idea right now. Got to catch us live. Well, unfortunately, not much is happening live just yet, as I am still very much trying to get into the game. It's weird. Uh, for a second there, they were booting people out for maintenance again. Oh, also, um, I did post... I think I still have it pasted. I can just throw it in here again. For those who have not seen that... <laughs> oh, I didn't mean for it to go into all Stardust, uh, Stardust, Stardew Valley music. Here, let me go back to the playlist and pick something else. Put it on shuffle. Here we go. Okay. I'll put it back to actual Master Duel music once we're able to get in, but... Or put it on Master Duel music. Rip to Finger, Searching Finger. Good. Rest in pieces, <laughs> frankly. Hey, Silent Khan. Thank you for the follow. Welcome to the stream. Just got in. Still awaiting myself. I remember last time this happened. Um, I like closed the game and reopened it and I don't think that helped me. So I'm just gonna keep, just keep clicking okay here. Gone as well downloading the update. Right on, right on. It's so good for ritual decks. I mean, to be fair, like I will miss Fender searching Fender and like Sprite. But, like, nothing else. <laughs> because I enjoy Sprite. <laughs> Time for speed order cash. I'm on PS5. I don't know, actually, if, like, console or Steam or... I'm sure that affects it in some degree, but I don't know how measurable that is. Could very well just be random. It's probably just random. Um, but, yeah, so the, the ratios or, like, the, the URs have been posted, I guess, for the pack. And, um... It's not awful. I mean, I didn't expect the other Super Heavy Samurai Pendulum Scale to also be a UR, but um, it could be worse, I suppose. Gold Pride looks not too bad to build as far as URs go. Nimleria is pretty cheap, which is good. I like that... One thing I do like that they're doing is that it seems like they're starting to make the more... Uh, or, like, the less powerful decks, like, cheaper, which is something that, you know... I would love to play, like... Decks on, like, the lower end of, like, you know, a power scale, but they tend to cost as many URs as, like, meta decks, so. What's up, Meeps? Stopped logins. The heroes are staggering. And while crossing music and maintenance issues, pure vibes. <laughs> it is a vibe, isn't it? Being able to build Geek Guardian with only one UR was a nice treat, E. Uh, Nimleria, I think, has... Let me turn this down a little bit. Uh, hang on. There we go. Um, Nimleria has two. Nimleria herself, of course, and one of the spell cards. Templify, thank you very much for the follow. Welcome to the stream. Two three-ofs. 
Yeah, that's not bad. Especially for a deck without uh, an extra deck. I mean, you know, we saw what happened with Vanquish Soul. I mean, to be fair, they have one extra deck monster, but that ended up being an SR. <laughs> Listen, if it's uh, if it's too much longer and unable to get in, I might actually try that. <laughs> Royal Suship Shari Red. Just what I was looking for. <laughs> what else is in this pack? Baguska. Oh boy, 3 a.m. <laughs> right. Baguska's in this pack. Um, you know, to be fair, none of the super heavy samurai stuff you needed beforehand was um, you are so and you don't you don't necessarily need the level 12 synchro either from what I gather so like you definitely don't need the level 5 synchro if that's what this first one is too so I'm looking at the URs here for super heavy samurai it's like three bike yep three of the Yuya looking pendulum monster I think you play two of the other one so it's like eight URs it's not bad at all nine optionally again if you want to play the level 12 synchro I mean, I think we always knew Bike was going to be a UR. I I, I kind of figured it. Well, they announced the Pendulum scale and the level 12 Synchro are going to be URs. And I, I you got to figure the Bike's going to be a UR. But the other Pendulum scale is a bit of a surprise, but not the most surprising thing in the world. Kind of player here, would you suggest the Hidden of the Art Structure deck? Is that the Ninja one? Um, That is probably the most competitive one right now. I think Ninja is probably... Yeah, I think Ninja is better than Salmon Gray right now. The Solomon Great deck is not bad by any means, uh, and that deck does also get future support, so would not also be a terrible investment. Also, 1,500 gems in the long term is not going to be, like, too bad. Um, when you're just starting out, it's, like, a decent chunk of your materials, but... So even if you end up getting the Ninja deck and, like, not lucky in the long run, it's like, you, you know... In the long term, it won't be that, that big of an investment. Thought second scale would be hope the bike wasn't. The bike was always gonna be. The bike is too good to not be a UR. That card is insane. So the time of the month of work here, this certainly works out for me. <laughs> I kind of force it to work with my schedule, but I'm gonna try to lay down, I think, after this. It's one of the reasons it's gonna be a shorter stream. As soon as we can get in. Feels like Salmon Gray has a better upgrade path. Yeah, I mean, yeah, if you want to, like, start getting, like, math back or other cyber stuff. Ninjas is pretty uh, pigeonholed into its own archetype. Salmon Gray can branch out a little more easily. That's fair. Chariot Carry being as far as it. Yeah, so for Gold Pride, uh, what were the URs for Gold Pride? It was very surprising, actually. Only one of the extra deck monsters, Star Leon, is a UR. And then Gold Pride Leon is also a UR. And then one of the spells, right? Yeah. So that's like... I don't know my exact gold pride ratios yet, but I mean, I can't imagine you play more than one of the synchros. So that's one right there. I think you probably play two. Wait, I don't even know which spell that is. The, honestly, the... Like, I, I know what their effects are, but I don't recognize them yet by the art. And then gold pride Leon. I'm trying to think of how many of that you would play. Um, Let me think for a second. Think. Let me look. Because <laughs> I know, yeah, people were talking about it. Okay, three. Yeah, that makes sense. And then, looks like the spell is a two of. Might get three just to be safe. So it's like seven gold pride URs. So like seven gold pride URs, eight to nine super heavy samurai URs. Trisukta is an SR. Hell yeah, it is. What's up, Melancholy Sharky? Welcome to the stream. Um, I'm not doing too bad. I'm very eager to get in. Hopefully that'll happen sometime soon. I'll be going for, well, 15 minutes, actually. Because <laughs> I was I was doing this even in the uh, starting soon screen. Refreshing like this, so... I might actually close the... I know I just said earlier that that has not worked out for me in the past, but at this rate, it's like, I don't feel like it's going to hurt. Let me close the game and then reopen it. Okay. I'm gonna have to re- nope, there it is, okay. Closing the game works for you? Okay. Cool. Good, 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 good. Um, it's not for me yet, but we shall see. No visor, Sam Sara. I was a little surprised by that, honestly. We 
What makes Math Max so good? Um, it's a really, it's a good deck by itself. Like, a Math Max deck is already good, and you can play Math Max with a lot of different kinds of decks, not even just other cyber decks, but, like, if your deck can make a rank four, you can do a Math Max line. Like, a, like a set up a Super Factorial into a uh, Terra Hertz, or not Terra Hertz, Jesus, into a uh, Laplacian that'll Omni Negate. It's very flexible. Um, it doesn't really have that many restrictions. It does... Well, that's the thing. If you use Nabla, you can even do the line without getting cyber locked. So the only real lock is circular, is you can only attack with one monster, which if it's turn one, that doesn't even matter, so... Um, but even, like, getting cyber locked with, like, Sigma is fine if you're on a cyber stack, so... Uh, it's a very powerful engine that's very flexible. And not only is it very flexible as an engine, but again, it's also just a good deck. Like, math mech decks are just good. Gold Pride deck worth building. Um, if you like punk, then definitely. Gold Pride punk is going to be pretty good and a lot of fun. It'll probably be the... I, I, I can't imagine it not being the best punk variant. We'll see. But I have to imagine it is. Kaius, one on one, thank you very much for wishing me a good morning. I hope you are having a good morning as well. Ooh, we're all nice. Fuck it, we pinball. <laughs> One of these years I'll get in. Super Heavy Samurai can kind of super expensive. It's actually, it's not, it's, it's really, like, in the, in the grand scheme of things, it's not terrible. Um, none of the cards that have already been released are URs. You don't need any pre-existing Super Heavy Samurai URs in order to, like, build the deck. There are other Super Heavy Samurai URs. They're all bad Synchro Monsters, so you don't need them. New Dino support with playing? I... Are you talking about Transcend Drakes? Um... Worth playing is, like, very, a very open-ended question. I, it, it depends what you mean by that. Uh, are they going to be tiered? No. Are they going to be competitive? Probably not. Um, could they be fun? Yes. Could they see some amount of success? Yeah. Could you hit master with it? Yeah, totally. Am I going to play it? No. It's like there's so many different ways to answer that question. Uh, it's just kind of hard to know how to answer it sometimes. Got in, keep going. I mean, <laughs> I feel like I would be the last person who doesn't get in at this point. Or who gets in, rather. Is doing the voice. I don't even know what the voice is. I've never watched the dub. By, by, uh, I think I stopped watching dubs like, GX I think was the last dub I watched. Aside from like clips or something, I so I, I don't I don't even know his dub voice honestly. <laughs> I watched it subbed. I know in the sub he says, "I the man Golgenzaka." Is that his name in the sub? I think something like that. Oh, did Jack Atlas and oh they did a, they did a, a live duel. That's that's cool. I like the live duels. They're fun. Oh, did they do it when the, uh, well, no, that'd be pretty recent, actually, when the Red Dragon Archery Instruction Deck came out. Oh my god, can we play this game, please? Jesus Christ. What's up, Fuzzy? having trouble getting in? I feel like everybody else is in. <laughs> I, I, it legit kind of feels like I'm the only one who's not in at this point. Aw, oh, good song. Okay, let's see. Maintenance is over now. Apparently not. 
Those are more deck slots in the shop. Interesting. Okay. We're having all the fun without you. <laughs> without you right now. <laughs> Struggling to fear your power. I'm updating. Been sparing two, no luck. Okay, so it's not just me. <laughs> Oh. If I had known it was going to take this long, I definitely would not have started quite this early. But also, I've never had this much trouble getting in before. It's so RNG. <laughs> Apparently it is. No, yeah, Dragon Link is absolutely still a deck. Dragon Link not dead. Uh, it's gonna, it's totally gonna be a tier limit situation though. Uh, where like it's like when tier limits got hit, and everyone was like, "Well, guess tier limits dead," and it's like, "No, <laughs> what are you talking about?" Uh, and I think the exact same thing is gonna happen with Dragon Link, where like in a month and a half or so from now, you're gonna see Dragon Link topping a bunch of tournaments. People are gonna be like, "What? You can still play this deck?" And it's like. Yeah, <laughs> of course you can. What are you talking about? Problems your internet? Why would it be my internet? <laughs> what does that have to do with it? I got a first try over the night to your job that I was trying for like an hour. Oh my god, I really hope it's not an hour. I logged out. <laughs> right off, thank you for giving me your spot. I appreciate that. It's like a little more than a slap on the wrist, but the deck is definitely not dead. <gasps> yo, a uh, yo, let's go, finally, whoo, got it. Cool, let's do this. Dreaming Nimbleria icon is cute. Oh, I bet it is, that sounds nice. Okay, um... I gotta turn off this music now, because we're gonna start recording our pack opening video. And I enjoy my videos and not getting copyright striked. I don't know if you can get copyright striked for Minecraft music. You probably can't, actually. I don't know. But anyway. Um... We are in. Hell yeah, we are. All right, I'm gonna start the recording in just a moment here. Just take a sip of water first. All right, everyone get ready to say hi to YouTube. Hey, everybody, what's going on? Hexlex here. Got another Master Duel video for you. It's pack opening day. Uh, finally managed to get in here after uh, a solid, what is this, 25 minutes about of refreshing, but uh, we are in here in the shop. Hi, future me. Hello, YouTube. Yes, we are also uh, streaming as per the usual with our last few pack updates. Um, or pack openings, rather. So I literally just got in. Chat can attest to that. I haven't looked at anything yet. I even clicked right out of the notifications uh, so that I could read them here on the video. So we got the new secret pack uh, that is going to end up being the one for Transcendrix. Transcend Transcendentalism. Jesus, say that five times fast. It's going to have the Transcendosauruses as well as the Dinomorphias. It was an error in the potent. I was wondering what this Dino Ruffia thing was all about. Okay. New accessories. <gasps> Ooh. Okay, so I saw people talking about dinosaurs. And, I, and, the, and the meat, too. I didn't realize the soul eating over raptor. We got a new mate here. Pendulum green? I'm not gonna lie. That's that doesn't look bad at all. That does not look bad at all. Like, I don't even play Pendulum decks, and I might actually end up getting that sleeve at some point. Ah, and then of course we have new icons and earth accessories as well. Huh, okay, cool. So I think, as far as accessories go, the one I'm most interested in is Soul Eating Over Raptor, but I also want to open 50 packs, so I think I'm going to hold off on getting it for the time being. Let's see what else we have here. Oh, that's right, I saw this too. 
that there are more deck slots available to be purchased. That's pretty neat. Um, I've never used, well, I, I have a couple of times gotten up to 30, but. And then of course, what we're mainly here for is the new selection pack. So let's just go ahead and go right over to the shop here. Yeah, that pendulum green sleeve, green isn't normally a color I'm super into, but that is a really fresh looking sleeve. Oh, if that were like blue instead of green, I would be all over it. I'm probably still gonna get it at some point anyway, but let's start with our free uh, secret pack here. Okay, so nothing too interesting, uh, but we did get a couple of the Transcendosaurus monsters, uh, some of the new ones here. Uh, basically, the idea between these uh, is that they are fusions between, like, dinosaurs and also, well, not just fusions, but also other extract summoning methods, but they're like retrains of classic vanilla dinosaur monsters, which is pretty cool. I wonder, actually, let me go to the featured cards and see what it looks <laughs> the doodle beast in here, that's good. Okay, so the Meteorus is a UR. I'm not going to build this deck, but I was just curious. Ground Zeno. So the deck has two URs, you know, for a casual deck. Or a more casual deck, I will say. Uh, as with any deck, I do believe that you could definitely hit to master with a deck like that. Um, you know, if you put in the work. But uh, it is definitely on the lower end of the power scale, you know, as compared to a bunch of other decks. Soul Eating Over Raptor. I probably will end up getting that at some point there. And yeah, okay. Without further ado, here is what we are all waiting for. Myself included. Okay, so um, I am mainly looking for, not this card, uh, I am mainly looking for the Gold Prides and the Super Heavy Samurais. I would definitely like a Vizus Artama as well. Let's just jump right into it. Open our first 10 pack here. Uh, it's pretty average. A little bit below average, maybe even. We'll see what ends up coming out of here. At least we have the guaranteed UR, so... There are quite a few URs I'm looking to pull from this pack, so... And I will say, uh, 5,000 gems is a little bit less <laughs> than I'm used to having, uh, just because of all, like, the bundles recently, so... Might have to dip into our funds a little bit. People are always saying, like, Hex, you have so many... So many craft points, and I've always said I'm saving them for a day when I need them. This might end up being that day. We'll have to see how good our pull rates are. I got a glossy of one of the new Nimleria cards there. Also, uh, an architect that only has two URs in it, so... It does seem like that they are starting to give like the less competitive archetypes less URs. Which, that's good, but unfortunately it doesn't mean that the more competitive archetypes tend to have more in them. So, okay. Opening up our UR pack here. Let's see what it ends up being. Okay, cool. It's one of our super heavy samurai monsters we need. Uh, the big Benki pendulum scale was a little bit surprising to me. This is the one that I wasn't quite expecting to be UR, but uh, did end up being a UR as well. I'm not even gonna hold my breath for Royals. <laughs> Sometimes I do that, but this time I'm just like, I just wanna pull all the stuff I want. Roller Baller. This is probably my favorite Gold Pride monster. I can't wait to play this one. And the fusion, of course, associated with it. It's very Katamari Damacy. Realm Resonance. Oh, this is one of the new Vizes cards. Shuffle into your deck one of your Vices monster, four of your monsters, special summon a Vices synchro monster from your extra deck. Neat. I don't think that's particularly good, but it's neat if nothing else. Oh, okay, we have something here. Please be you are. Dang. One of the new Nemleria cards, the Dreaming Tower. Alright, last pack here. Could have a UR in it. The yellow glow. Wow, okay. Even if it's not a UR, that is at least three SRs. No, nope, no URs, but we did get the new gold predixies, Chariot Carry. It's a very, very cool look. I love the art on these cards. So good. Love the art on these. All right. So, yeah, I mean, this is probably about expected given the. Uh, one rainbow glow there, the one guaranteed you are, but maybe we'll have a little bit better luck in the next set here. 
Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is good. This is more like what I was looking for. All right. Mm hmm. You are? No. I don't think any of the previous. Actually, I was looking at the list. Oh. Oh, I thought it was going to be a finish upgrade. Or a, a uh, rarity upgrade, rather. But. Uh, yeah, none of the previous Super Heavy Samurai cards that were URs should be needed for this deck. I love that they put Baguska this back to go with Numlaria, that's cute. Also, Captain Carey! Um, but yeah, I think all of the previous Super Heavy Samurai URs that were out before this pack are just like, synchro monsters you don't play, so. Don't have to worry about any catching up in that regard. Time to ball on some punks. <laughs> Hell yeah. Uh, Gold Pride Punk is going to be so much fun. That is also a very good point that it's uh, it's cool that two of the archetypes that like have some of the coolest art in the game play well together. I love Punk's art. Punk probably has my favorite art in the game. Uh, except now Gold Pride might be the only other contender at this point. Okay. You have one UR here at the very least. Let's see, ooh. Okay, that's an SR. Hey, it's Bodanium Trisukta and Sweet Dreams Nimleria. <laughs> well, alas, this is not one of the archetypes I was super keen to play, but uh, we pulled a UR all the same. Uh, this card is going to be very good. <laughs> oh my god, I, oh god, I was actually kind of theory crafting using this card in Sprite Synchro before the Chaos Ruler Band uh, got announced, and I think there might still be some amount of potential in that style of deck, but of course, um, the card is good in Monodium too, it's just a, it's a good card overall. And it's an SR. I, that, I thought that card was going to be a UR, I, I won't lie, I really thought that card was going to end up being a UR, but... It being an SR is a surprise to be sure, but a welcome one. All right, here's our other UR. And it's gonna be the bike, the super heavy samurai motorbike. Also Jojo with that hydration redeem. Thank you very much. Mm -mm. Ah, yes, the motorbike. This one, I, I figured, was going to be a UR. This card was too good to not be a UR. Um, of course, along with the already announced uh, level 12 Synchro and Pendulum Scale. I'm, you don't use the level 5 Synchro, I'm pretty sure. I haven't seen it in any of the lists I've looked at. Although that one also ended up being a UR. Alright, last pack here. Oh, hello, Manati and Kikolos. Now I guess uh, Shari Red is here, too. All right. So, yeah, there's our two URs. Been a little bit below average pulls, I guess for me, anyway. This is probably like an average, I think, overall, but... I feel like I tend to end up having a little bit better luck than this. But we're not halfway through yet, so... Okay, got one more UR at least here. And there's Stealth Ninja. Glad to see these glossy uh, <laughs> gold pride cards, because you know me and making all my cards glossy. It's a horrible habit. Don't don't get into it. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> that was a great pack. <gasps> Let's go. That was a fantastic pack. 180 on the luck turnaround there. Holy shit. Getting a motorbike and a Leon from a pack that did not have a guaranteed UR in it. That's good. All right. We're back in it. Let's go. Got another UR coming up here. I know. Pinballer animation would have been great. Veld Kalnata. So this is set up to be, from what I understand, like kind of the big bad of the Visus lore. Level 8 Dark Warrior, 2500 attack, 200. Hey, that's Dark Magician stats. 
If a card on the field is destroyed by a card effect, advise a star fossil on the field. You can special summon this card from your hand. You can add one clear new world from your deck or graveyard to your hand. If another monster in your possession is destroyed by a card effect, except during the damage step, you can target one monster your opponent controls destroyed. If you do this card, you get stacked equal to that monster's original attack until the end of this turn. You can only use the effect of a card once returned. This card is not that great, but it's neat. Drink. <laughs> <laughs> Three fists all in a row. <laughs> Something funny about that, I don't know. Yeah, I'll finally get to do that uh, Pendulum Summon Proficiency test. That's why I've been stuck on level 7. Someone commented that once, like, why are you stuck on uh, Proficiency level 7? It's because uh, I don't Pendulum Summon, but I do now. New World Stars. Wait, what does this do? Why is this for first time? Blah, 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 blah. Not good. Okay. I refuse to pen until they give you a reason to. I am in the exact same camp. The only pen deck I've ever played is DDD. And I like DDD. Um, well, that's the thing. I like it, but, like, there's no... <laughs> deck building is so boring for that deck. There's, like, no room to play. Your engine takes up so much space in that deck. It's kind of why it's not that great, honestly, too, of a deck. I mean, it's it's fine. It's lower rogue, but I've said this before, and I'll say it again. With DED, it's like you put you literally. I'm not even exaggerating. Ooh, you are. You literally put an engine and then three max C, three Ash Blossom, two Carby, and that's 40 cards right there. Hey, look at that! It's another big Benki Pendulum. Oh, I was like, is this gonna be royal, please? Uh, and that's another big Benki Pendulum scale. It's our second one of those. So we have two of these, two motorbikes. And a Gold Leon? That's not bad. Give me a Panda Control deck. <laughs> That's not something like a Morph Ages. <laughs> hey, it's Pinballer. Oh my god, if only this card got an animation. That would have been so cool. Pendulum Treasure. Add one Pendulum Monster for your deck to your extra deck face up. That's neat. Okay, so that ended up being definitely above average luck. Uh, we got three URs we wanted, and we were only guaranteed the one, so good, good, good. Got two more URs at the very least here, also good. All right, this is, uh, this is not going too badly so far. Again, I will probably have to dip in my craft materials at least somewhat, but if we must, we must. What does this card do? I've seen this a couple of times. During the end phase, you can destroy the equipped monster. That's cute. I wonder if that's like, I don't know. I don't know nothing about NR format. I was gonna say, I wonder if that's decent in NR format. But I don't know what the removal situation looks like. I don't know what any of the situations look like. Glossy Roller Baller. I know that Vendred is a good deck. Uh, Megalith is a good deck in an RNL. Right That's about it. <laughs> That's about all I know anyway. Another Monodium Trisukta. I think our next pack has a guaranteed UR in it. Oh? Pretty sure that light doesn't actually mean anything, by the way. <laughs> Thought we were gonna see another three fists in the row, in a row there rather. Okay, yeah, here we go. Still haven't ooh pulled any of the Yuya looking pendulum monsters yet. A. We'll definitely take one of these for sure. The brave Masuraro, aka. The man, Gongenzaka, a gonk, I think is his name in the dub, but uh, you don't have to play this card, but it's not also not bad to have in the extra deck. Since I pulled one, I'll be keeping it and trying it out. Officially donating my royal luck to you, I just pulled a royal gold pride synchro, hell yeah, congrats. I will definitely take some of that luck if it is able to be passed on, that is for sure. I agree, the Super Heavy Samurai artwork is lovely. Alright, here's our other guaranteed UR. Eh, 
And it is. Ooh, good. Ah, dang, I wanted this to get upgraded, but this is the spell I was talking about. Gold Pride. Better luck now. Oh, it's Pinball. <laughs> Pinballer crashed. <laughs> When this card is activated, you can add a Gold Pride monster from your deck to your hand, and if you do, lose life points equal to its attack. So basically, this is one of the ways that you go into the Gold Pride engine if you're playing Punk. Uh, the idea is that if you're during a Punk line, at the end of it, from what I've gathered, I haven't actually tested this yet myself, but from what I've gathered, um, slash from what my friend uh, Spoofy has told me, that uh, the idea is that you do a Punk line, right? But then at the end of it, you make a Rank 3. Uh, that being the Chariot Carry. Chariot Carry, I believe that's the one that adds a Punk spell, and then you can add, use this. Uh, you add this, and then you activate it, start adding Gold Pride monsters, and then go into your Gold Pride engine. Uh, Revolution Synchron was not in this pack. I don't believe. Or if it was, it's not a UR, which I have a very hard time believing that card's not going to be a UR, so... It's a shame. I would have very much liked to have seen it, but... Oh, you know what else, too? I just remembered this just now. Um, Terror Top is at 3. That's something I was act as excited about as this pack coming out, was the fact that Terror Top was going to be at 3. Alright, last 10 pack. Let's see what we get here. Okay, we got at least one UR. I'm actually very grateful for this. One thing I'm always afraid of when I open 10 packs is that my last one is going to have no URs, which means that <laughs> I will need to buy another 10 pack because then the next one would be guaranteed URs to not miss out on that value, so... Probably getting Synchron support in the next one. That would that would make sense. The next one's gonna be uh, the second anniversary pack. I just realized that. Wow, between the Christmas pack, the New Year's pack, and the upcoming anniversary, they're really gonna be uh, really gonna be laying all these packs on these uh, special bundles on us, are they? I, I am starting as a as a fairly relatively. I'm not free to play, um, but I, I don't spend that much money. But as a, not someone, I, I'm not a whale, but I'm also not free to play. But as someone who's in between, I definitely feel that crunch lately of the uh, not having the right amount of gems needed. Hey, dead man, YGT, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the stream. Hope you are doing well. All right, crowd goes wild. Crane crabe. Hey, there we go. We did pull one of these. This is the uh, the other pendulum scale here, the Prodigy Wakaushi. We're going to want a play set of that. I think our super heavy samurai pulls have not been too bad at all, actually, especially given how relatively few packs we're opening. I think those are only guaranteed UR, so I'm not going to hold my breath here, but it'll be nice to get at least one more. <laughs> okay, cool. We'll take that. And survey says, it's Perfora Pal Celestial Magician. I, Funnily enough, I actually already have a royal copy of this card. Uh, it was one of the royals that I pulled in the first anniversary um, last year. So I already have this card uh, and that royal at that, but... Uh, this card is definitely not bad for Pendulum Magician if you're interested in that deck. I don't know why it's in this pack, but... Oh, is it because it's Zark? And this is like, well, what does that have to do with necessarily Super Heavy Samurai? I think like, they were both in Arc V, but... Hmm. I guess they are putting a decent amount of just Pendulum stuff in general here. Alright, one last pack. Let's see what's in it. And it's... Ah, I, th I thought for a second it was going to be another UR, but... We did at least pull one of the other uh, Pendulum Scale here. So, uh, as you can see, I am now more or less out of gems. And let us see how well we did in the grand scheme of things. We're going to switch this to my cards. And, okay. Um, oh, the vices are Atomba. I totally forgot about that. But, um, so I'm missing of stuff I still need. I'm missing one, two, three, four, five, 
six, seven, eight URs. That's not awful. Again, given how many I needed going into this and how many packs we opened, I think we did uh, pretty well overall for the pack openings here. So yeah, uh, that is going to go ahead and do it for the YouTube video. Uh, thanks everyone for watching. Um, let us now go ahead and move on to our outro. But of course that does not do it for the stream. Uh, I am finished recording, however, at this point, so... It is time to deck build. Time to deck build. Jesse. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. That's good, I like that. <laughs> Hi, YouTube. No, no, bye, YouTube. That was the end of the video. <laughs> is regular Leon a three of? I think so. I think I'm mostly going to start by deck building Super Heavy Samurai. Um, what? Why did they... Why did they... Okay, whatever. I don't know why they gave us an update for the maintenance that just ended, but sure. Uh, you know what, actually? I'll deal with these later. I might delete those decks. Okay, so... Let's start by dismantling all extra cards. Is Dino Morphia worth building for a new account? Um, it's... I mean, it's a fine deck. It's a pretty good deck. I would call Dino Morphia, like... Mid to Upper Rogue. Somewhere in that neighborhood. I'd call it Mid Rogue. Mm, it, like, kind of borders on Upper Rogue. Um, but it's fine. Oh, someone asked earlier, like, what is better to pull from? The Selection Pack or the Secret Pack? I... As always as ever, that just depends on what you want to build. Um, if you're talking about... I don't know. Again, it's kind of hard to answer that question sometimes because there's so many different ways you can answer it. And, and I don't necessarily know what kind of decks you're looking to build or how competitive you want to be. But I guess assuming you're talking about a competitive meta decks, 100% better to buy the selection pack than the secret pack. Um, Dinomorphia is, again, a, f a totally fine competitive deck. It's like mid-rogue. Um, that means it can definitely top tournaments and get to Master 1. You just might have a little bit of a, a harder time than if you were playing like a tiered deck, but not that much worse by any means. Transcend Drakes is a different story. I think that is lower uh, on the power level than even Dinomorphia. I don't think that, like, again, it with the lens of like competitive deck, Master 1, topping tournaments, I don't think Transit Drakes is good for that at all. Um, but, you know, it could happen. Would you ever play Monodium or Super Heavy? Um, I haven't played Super Heavy yet, so I don't know which one I like better yet. Oh, let's, um, okay, actually, hang on, I have, I have, an, I have another idea. We can start with this. Rest in pieces, Fenrir. And the one I am much more sad about. Oh god, she doesn't even show up anymore! <sighs> Everyone, please give a salute. <laughs> Can I have some Fs in the chat? Can we pay our respects? I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna join in and sending off. A real one. Oh my god, this is the saddest moment of my life! <laughs> that was good, Ski, that was good. The hardest part is saying goodbye. The hardest part is always saying goodbye. <laughs> Oh, I will need to stay hydrated for these tears. <laughs> mm. <laughs> I thought about that. I thought about making like an in arms of an angel style of a <laughs> video for Chaos Ruler, you know. <sighs> Drink water for remembrance. Yeah, pour one out. Everyone pour one out for Chaos Ruler. God. All right, but life goes on, and so shall we. Um, let's see, for the Super Heavy Samurais. Oh, wait, I'm still on band. Hang on, let me... I can just do this. Here we go. 
Yeah, like, you don't need any of these Synchro Monsters. Or the level 5 one, I don't think, either. Um, we definitely want a couple of these, though. <laughs> wow, I made two Glossies. That's... Okay, so someone asked earlier why my rare craft points are so low. Not earlier in the stream, but, like, in a YouTube video. Um, and that's because I make all my rares glossy. And I never have that good of luck making glossies with rares. I, I have to burn through so many rare craft points. <laughs> Alright, I mean, I guess, yeah, we'll take those. It would have been, been better if they were royals, but, you know, I won't, I won't complain. We also get a free pull from the... Uh, Super heavy samurai pack, which is cool. Streamer luck. <laughs> Something like that. Oh, no, no streamer luck there. That pack glowed yellow, by the way. This is further evidence. I mean, we don't need further evidence. It's something I've known for a long time, but um, the only thing that means anything on packs is if they glow rainbow, you guarantee you get a UR. But no other visual effects mean anything ever, by the way. <laughs> What kind of deck is the new Super Heavy Samurai? It is a kind of long form combo combo deck. Um, a lot of people don't like it for that reason because you kind of use the Super Heavy Samurai cards to end on uh, stuff like Baron and Appalooza. You can Scythe Lock. Um, <laughs> again, it's not like you never play any of the Super Heavy Samurais themselves. The new level 12 Synchro is very good. This is a very good monster. Um, but even then, they don't always play this card. It's kind of one of, quote-unquote, those decks, which I understand why people don't like decks like that. They can FTK. They can also FTK, yes. Um, they did lose one, one of their FTK tools when this card got banned, but the deck can still FTK. But, uh, I wouldn't be too concerned about that. Like, I don't think any of those FTKs are necessarily going to be better than, like, a... A more quote unquote standard kind of combo we build, but um, since we pulled this one, we're definitely gonna play it. Uh, we play three of those. Hang on, let me. Um, I have this saved somewhere. Where is it? Here we go. I don't even necessarily need to build it, I just want the core for the time being. Let me start with that. Here we go. Let me save this image, actually. And... Well, you know what? I can also just open it, too. Here we go. Okay. Okay, so... Um, yeah, we need three of the Yuya scale. We need two of this, and I pulled two of that. That's good. Um, the motorbike, where is that? We need three of those. And I think that's it for Super Heavy Samurai URs. And again, you don't even have to play this one, so that's not bad. Um, but I think we might need a Gear, Gig Gear Gigant X. I think that's played in, like, pretty much every build. That might be the only other UR I need to craft, though, as I'm looking at this here. Because I know you, um, hang on, you gear an X for the, I'm trying to remember the combo line, actually. Um, you don't always play the Ancient Gearbox, no, okay. Although Sprite is versatile, definitely have heard of their decks as you play style. Yeah, totally. The, the other cool thing about Sprite that I've always said is really neat is that um, Sprite doesn't... Sprite is very splashable, but it also doesn't take away from, like, um, you know, whatever deck it's paired with, right? Like, a Sprite deck... A deck with a Sprite engine, rather, isn't just gonna end on the same board every single time, like, the same Sprite end board. Um, like, if you play Twin Sprite, you end on Twin Monsters. If you play Synchro Sprite, you end on Synchros. If you play Gishki Sprite, you end on the Gishkis, which I think is really cool. Oh, yeah, we play these, of course, that we just crafted. I only have one of this, wow. Well, you definitely want to play set of this card. This card's broken as hell. Because this effect here at the bottom, if this card is set for the field to the graveyard, 
You can add one Super Heavy Samurai monster from your deck to your hand. Except Super Heavy Samurai Soul Piercer. So that's when it's sent from the field to the graveyard, like, for any reason. This is also not once per turn, by the way. Not once per turn at all. And you can't even be like, oh, old card design. Because this card came out in, like, 2017 or 2018. Um, it's, it's kind of wild. Yeah, this card's a one-card combo. There's a lot of one-card combos. I think there's, like, 12 total cards you can open that are one-card combos, I'm pretty sure. It's, like, the Bike, the Soul Piercer, the Yuya Scale, and maybe some other stuff. Yeah, half of this deck is, like, a one-card combo. What's up, Toad? Uh, what else do we play here? Oh, the, um... Hang on. This one. I have plenty of it, but it's only super rare. Oh, and then the ninja. We actually do play one of those. This one. Stealthy. And... Is that 17? Yeah, that's 17, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 10, 7. Yep, okay. So as far as Super Heavy Samurai stuff you need for, like, the deck, this is pretty much, like, the core right here. Um, now, of course, we need to fill out the rest of this list with a bunch of monsters, because this deck plays no spell or trap cards. That's, that's kind of its whole thing, if you can believe it. Also, 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 I've seen people talk about this card. Don't play this. Don't play this card. Don't play this card in this deck. Don't do it. It's bad. Ooh, Melancholy Sharky with this tier one sub. Thank you so much. Oh my god, that's so kind. Oh my god, thank you. The stealthy. Uh, summons from hand. You know, spell trap cards. Read this card. Target a spell. It's basically an extender for the most part, but you can also steal your opponent's spell or trap cards. But it's as for comboing purposes, it's an extender. Um. This is going to be a suggestion. Oh, oh, oh! I, I genuinely didn't even see you say that. I honestly didn't even genu uh, didn't even see you say that. But um, um. So here's why you don't play Sekka's Light. The Pendulum Scales are spell and trap cards, and if you activate Sekka's Light, you cannot set Pendulum Scales for yeah the rest of the duel. <laughs> so deserve it to love watching your videos. Thank you. I, I super appreciate that. Yeah, if you yeah, if you resolve a second's light, you you can't set any of the scales. Also, um, to be fair, like you, you can banish this card out of the graveyard, but you can't do it on the same turn that you activate it. And also, all the super heavy samurai say, yeah, if you have no spar trap cards in your graveyard, so it's it's very much a non-bow. This card is a non-bow in this deck two different ways over. So. Don't play it. <laughs> I, I I mostly say that as a cautionary tale because I can I can see a world where I might not have realized that before. Cause I, I saw that, that online somewhere else. I didn't even like somebody else I saw said that. Cause I know at one point, I think it might have even been ski in another stream was like, oh you can play Sekka's Light, and it's like, oh yeah. And I was like, Yeah, yeah, totally, because you know, no spar trap cards, but it ends up having non synergy with the deck. Um, oh, and Toad said Gamma. <laughs> Though I am loath to admit... Hang on. Though I am loath to admit, we are going to be playing Gamma in this card. I am, in fact, going to be playing this stupid-ass card again, despite what I've said about it in the past. <laughs> oh, and of course, uh, I also fixed my bookmarks, um, so that way they were, like, more staples. I had too much archetype stuff in here, but we definitely want to pay the Master Duel tax. At least some of it. Unfortunately, Gamma is the way. I agree. Um, let's see. What else are we going to play? Oh, we definitely play Drolls. That's for sure. Um, Ghost Bells? Because I think... Yeah, I mean, part of this combo also... Part of the Super Heavy Samurai combo definitely in involves moving stuff out of the graveyard. So, Ghost Bells not a bad counter. Uh, we can play DD Crows. We can play... Oh, we need... Um, hang on. We need Regulus. We need a Therion King Regulus. Uh, is there anything else for like comboing that I'm forgetting about? I don't think there is. Made it to Master 1, didn't run to Super Heavy Samurai. Congrats, hell yeah. I'm still at Diamond 4. I haven't been playing it all so far this season, except for like on streams. Um, now 
I did have, okay, here we go. To your box, this card is added. This card you want to get, you can add fire attack in our defense. Okay. Got it. So I think I do need a gear to get an Well, no. This list doesn't have one. I don't know how necessary Gear Gigan X is. Oh, I am actually forgetting a Super Heavy Samurai monster for the extra deck. It's this one. Yeah, thankfully the only pre-existing Synchro monster you need for Super Heavy Samurai is, is the rare. <laughs> you don't need any of the Ultras, so. Also, I will be making this stuff glossy later. I'm just not going to do that on stream. Yeah, Regulus doesn't even need a Therion to summon itself. And what um, what I forget all the time is that Therion doesn't... Regulus doesn't need to be equipped to, to do the Omni Negate either. You just send the, the Regulus itself to the graveyard. No, no equip necessary. Um, let's see. So am I going to play the Scythe build? I guess that's a question. Um, I could start with it. Yeah, there's kind of like no reason not to, right? Oh, but this build plays Lambda. Could you play both? I also don't know how necessary the Ancient Gearbox and Infinitrack Tunneler are, but I know that's also a lot of advantage. Scythe is standard. How are your gold pride pulls? Uh, not as good as my super heavy samurai pulls, but not bad. Wait. Yep. I'm gonna make sure I didn't have caps locks on. Boop, boop. There's a band in my head can. It's been the TCG, but it's not banned in Master Duel, so we're definitely gonna be playing Scythe. Lancia, um I don't think we necessarily need Lancia, but. Because we're going to Scythe as part of like our turn one combo. That's that's what we use Dogda for. DD Crows? Uh, I don't really want to play DD Crows. Kai oh, the Kaiju is actually searchable. Normally, I'm not a fan of playing like a random Kaiju, but this is actually like searchable in the stack and part of the combo, so we need that. I guess we'll play the Ancient Gearbox and the Infinite Track. But if I play that, I think I, I think that means I need Gear to get X too. Nope, hang on. Did I spell Tunnel wrong? I did. Let me search for it this way. Here it is. Scythe actually survived sprite meta even though they were able to pop it. There's like a lot of things that can pop Scythe. I think Zombies is one of my favorite ones. Well, Zombies don't even pop Scythe. Zombies, you just summon it via the Red Eyes effect if you have Zombie World in play. Okay. Um, let's see. I guess we could just play DD Crows to fill out the, the rest of this list. I'm just trying to make sure I'm not missing any like actual engine. I don't think I am. Like, I could play, um... Oh, wait, I am actually missing engine. Hang on. Wait, did I add that card? The... This one? No, I didn't. Okay. I could also play two of that. I can actually do that. Nah. Let's play two DD Crows. That's a follow from Menu Core. Thank you very much. Ghost Warner? We have her. Oh no, Ghost Warner. Wait, which one is that? I don't think I have that one. This one. I, I don't have any of this yet. Um, I would definitely consider it if I had some. And I, this has been on my two craft list for a while, actually. This is a very, very good card. Uh, I just don't have any yet, but. Valor? Um, we could play Valor. DD Crow, although, I don't know, we're already playing Ghost Spells. DD Crow is also good against the Mirror. This is definitely a build with the Mirror in mind, which I think we're going to face a lot early. So, I might leave it as is for the time being, but I could definitely see dropping DD Crow for something better, like Valor. 
Or if I had a Ghost Warner, yeah. Um, okay, now the extra deck. We always play... Oops, if I can type here, we always play Excel. Actually, I think that's over here, too. We always play Excel, we always play Baron. Uh, you always play Zeus. Uh, we definitely play Baguska. And Appaloosa, yep. Um, Elf. Is Elf played in every build? Yep. Okay. Um, let's see. We also want... Cleefort's Genius. Throw one of those in there. Uh, what else do we need for the extra deck here? Let me think. Slash look. <laughs> uh, oh, um, Sargus. And the Springins, right? Merrymaker. Crow's also good against Brandon. It is good against Brandon. That's very, very true. Very, very true. Oh, and then Gear Gigant. Is that needed? How needed is this card? Let me look, actually. Uh, let me search... Well, oh, actually, if I just shoot Gigant. Don't need Gear Gigant. Gear Gigant generic for funny card. Just kind of looking and seeing what people are saying about it. I don't know, what do you all think? How necessary is Gear Gigant X? I don't think it's needed. Play Ancient Link over Gear Gigant. That's what it is. I knew there was an alternate option. This one, right? Yeah, the Ballista. Boop. Okay, um, I think this is going to be my first draft of this deck. And the only things we're missing for it are a bike, which we always play, and two of the Yuya Pendulum Scales, which we always play. For box, it's recommended. Yeah, the Gear Gigant X, um, I think it has other targets you can grab too. As well as the box, but if I can avoid crafting another UR, I definitely will. Oh yeah, that's uh, Cleefort's Genius. This card is definitely needed for part of the combo line. Because um, the idea is that when you Pendulum Summon, you Pendulum Summon the two monsters into Genius's zones. So you trigger the last effect. When two monsters special summon at the same time as zones this card points to, you get a level 5 or higher machine for your deck to your hand. And, um... I'm trying to remember what you grab with that. Is that how you grab Regulus? Or no, we... do we Sargus for Regulus? Something like that. I don't know the combo lines off the top of my head just yet. I vaguely, like, know what they're about, but... When it gets down to, like, making the end board is where I'm, like... Because it varies a little bit, you know? X can fetch. Sargus gets Regulus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. X can fetch any machine besides bow, and you can set up Zeus on top of it, but you, need, you can use Ballista for elf setup. Gotcha. Okay, so you, they both have, like, different and valid applications. Yeah, I'm not saying I'm never going to craft gear again next, but I think I'll start with this. Oh, uh, and then I wanted to get rid of... Hang on, let me... I have an idea. Here's how I usually find the URs I pulled most recently. I'll just do it like this. And then, boop. Okay, um... I don't need this. I don't need these. I don't need this. I suppose I could hang on to that. Like, this card is never good, right? What is Clear New World? Is that card any good? Start to face the monster, you control destroy if you need special summon monster for your deck. If it's special, the original type of level is lower. The level level is lower. I'm pretty sure we don't ever need these, yeah. 
Do a combo guide? Yeah, I'm definitely planning on doing it. Hey, what's up, Momo? I'm up? Yeah, I, I am up. <laughs> I'm very tired, though. I am... Like I said before, this is going to be a shorter stream. You got working a bit? <laughs> I do too, actually. <laughs> um, I pulled four Vitas from 4K Gems. No! Tell me you pulled other stuff besides that, too. Yeah, I don't think we'll end up needing these for anything. I guess I'll hang on to the extra Celestial Magician, just because I don't have, like, two other things I want to get rid of. But yeah. But... I don't have any plans to play Nimleria. It's a very cute deck, but alas. And then Vita. Yeah, I don't think... I don't think this card is good. So I will get rid of it. I hope I'm not wrong about that. I don't think I am, though. Okay, so... Let's make... A motorbike. Glossy, okay. Let's make our wagons... And let's make our... I always call... I'm, I'm gonna always call this the Yuya scale. Dang, no royals. Because it looks like Yuya. It's got his goggles and everything. Save. Oh, also, let me fix this. I much prefer showing number owned. Just looks better. To me. Alright. And... Just throw on the usual. We'll do like bike and you. All right. I know. I wish you could set default accessories too. It would be very nice to not have to pick that every single time. <laughs> yep. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Okay, um, let's see what the damage is going to be for Gold Pride. Oops, again, if I can type. Nitria Medulce? Yeah, it was something I was testing out uh, a few days ago. On Sunday? Is that when we played it? I'm trying to remember. So, we need one of the Synchro, I'd like one more of this, and then two of this, so we're also looking at crafting three URs for Gold Pride Punk. That's not bad. I am going to have to dip into my UR craft points, though. I can already see the comments being like, oh my god, you went below 300! It's like, yeah, but this is why. This is why I've been saving these craft points for so long, for like over a year and a half. I've never gone below 300 craft points, because I knew... I knew there was going to come a day when I needed those craft points, and I knew that future me was going to be very glad that past me had been very diligent about saving them, and we have arrived at that day. It is here, right now. <laughs> We're going bankrupt. <laughs> not quite. Definitely not quite, but I am dipping into my savings a little bit. I spent the 300 I had on Vanquish Soul. I, I, th I considered it. I'm not going to lie. I did consider it because Vanquish Soul is a very good deck. And it's like, I really like being able to cover like all the most meta relevant decks that are currently around. And I, I feel a little bit of a hole in my channel not having built Vanquish Soul uh, and not being able to cover it. But I don't know. At the same time, I'm also like, I'm always so busy with another deck anyway. Vanquish Soul is going to be another one of those decks that I like played once a season, you know, to make a video for, and, like, never outside of that, so. But it is also a very, very cool deck. Um, and there's a party that wants to, like, see how I like playing it myself, but. Very fun, because I actually like control-based Yeah, that's the thing. Um, a lot of Yu-Gi-Oh players, when you say control deck, they think, oh, so trap decks. Um, but I... I, I I tend to find control as more, define control rather, as more of like out grinding your opponent over the course of a longer game. Um, or if you want to be really vague about it, um, control decks just want the game to go on longer. Any deck that wants the game to go longer is at least some aspect of control. Stun kind of falls in line with that too, but, um, but control is mainly differentiated from stun in my opinion by... Uh, the outgrinding of resources through 
um, you know, various card activations as opposed to flipping a floodgate and sitting on it, you know, so. Trap Tricks is a mid-range deck. Everything is a mid-range deck. <laughs> That's good. Um, let's see. I think for Gold Pride Punk, I'm going to borrow a list from my good friend McSpoofy. Who is our resident Gold Pride expert. Okay, cool. Oh, yeah, this list looks great. Alright. So for the gold pride cards, um, I do need three gold pride Leon. We play one pinballer, we play three chariot carry, and we play two of these, as well as, uh, is that that came out of nowhere? Yep, that came out of nowhere. Uh, we play a start your engines. Uh, we definitely play a pinballer in the extra, we play this in the extra, and we play two cherry carries in the extra. Okay. Better luck is not a three of. Um, it, it, it wouldn't be a bad as a three of by any means, but you don't have to play three of it. Uh, because the idea is that we basically do a punk line, and then at the end of the punk line, you make the chariot carry. And then Chariot Carry can search the Better Luck next time to grab a Gold Pride monster, and then that's when you start doing your Gold Pride plays. Um, so, third one of this, definitely not bad by any means. Uh, very, very good card. Um, but not 100% required to have three, because again, uh, it is searchable off of the Chariot Carry as well. In a more, like, if you're going for more of like a pure Gold Pride list, then yeah, definitely, but... Um, there's also, we're going to be blending it with Punk as well, so we need to make sure we have a room for all of that fun stuff. Okay, um, now for the Punk cards. Um, let's see, we'll do that, and then you, and you, and you, and you, you, and you. How many Deer Nod are we playing? I think... I might try to squeeze in a second one. Maybe, we'll see. Oh, and then of course, where is the field spell? And Ashiwari surprise. Okay. I got the Nimleria deck started looking promising. I knew you would, Oni. How is it looking? Wait, no Nitro Head? Um, did I skip over that? I think I might have, actually. Oh, no, I didn't. This list doesn't have Nitro Head in it. I guess we don't play it. Oh, this has a Trishula in it. Ooh, I don't have a Trishula? <sighs> do we need Trishula? How badly do we need to be playing a 9? I think we could probably get away without it. Maybe we played a Nitro Head instead or something? Hmm. Nitro Head? Uh, no, Nitro Head isn't a UR. I'm just talking about Trishula, which is a UR. Oh, Head is the main deck monster. I thought you were talking about the Link. Hang on. Do we play the Nitro Head in the main? Uh, we don't. Okay. Um, no, yeah, we'll do the rest of the extra here in a moment. Let me just pull this back up. Make sure I have all the punk cards. Okay. Oh, and you know what? This is going to be one of many decks. Many to come where we are playing the Terratops. Oh, I'm so excited about this card being at three. I'm not going to lie. This is like, I said this before, but this is... Probably as exciting to me as the new pack up, uh, update too. This card being at three opens up a lot of really cool and fun stuff. And apparently I also get to pull from the speed right pack for that. Neat. All right, I <laughs> didn't get anything, it's all good. 
Okay. So yeah, we got the... Oh no, we didn't actually put them in. Boom, and Tuxomborg. Also, I heard that follow. Who was that from? That was from Karsten30. Thank you very much for the follow. Oh, also, uh, Halfcast NG. I missed you. I'm sorry about that. No, yeah, Itali. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. We're going to get there. We're going to get there. I'm just not there yet. We're definitely going to put that card in, though. Um, it's like a tracker. Definitely want one of those. We have 12 slots open. And then our Master Duel tax, and I think that's the rest of it. Where is called by? Here we are. Oh, we have one slot left over? What did I miss? Oh, right. I am like, um,. I'm trimming this list down a little bit because it's 45 and you all know me and, and lists that go above 40. Um, we can play like a droll. I don't know why I searched for that. It's literally right here, but <laughs> sure. Um, so like something like that maybe for the main deck. Imperm in the last slot. We could do Imperm as well. I think droll's a little bit more flexible. Uh, not flexible. That's not the right word. That's not the word I was looking for. Imperm is definitely the more flexible card. Um, I think Joel would just be a little bit better in this format than as a, a random one of the, than the uh, Imperm. Alright, now for the extra deck. The rest of the extra deck. Let's see. Um, so, Stardust. We'll take Baron. I'll take... I'm not sure. I think these are all also tabs. Uh, open an IP. Open a Nightmare Unicorn. I want Zeus. I want a rank eight. I don't have that bookmarked. That's... Um. Let's see. Oh, this extra deck also plays Lambda because it's playing the Psy Frame. Oh, because we are actually activating Psychic effects. That's cute. Teratop is just a free rank 3 that still has access to gold price stuff without a normal. Yeah, exactly. Card next to Teratop is Takatom Borg. That is the card that uh, Teratop searches to go into the rank 3 there. Good luck with the rest of the stream. I'm heading to work. I hope you have a great day at work, Momo. Thank you very much for stopping by. I super appreciate that. Okay, um, what do I want to put in this last, I think I'll just put Goddess in this last extra deck slot for now and just figure it out later. So, I'm thinking something like this. Oh, we need the Star Leon, so I'm going to have to make four URs? Ooh. I mean, yeah, I'm going to play this deck. I'm definitely going to play this deck, so. Snow Rabbit. So, um, we're not playing Snow Rabbit in this build uh, because we're searching Psychic Tracker as our level three instead. The reason to search Psychic Tracker uh, instead of Snow Rabbit is because that's how you go into your Gold Pride plays off of doing a Punk line. You do your punk line, but then at the end, instead of grabbing against Snow Rabbit, you grab the tracker. Then you use tracker and the tuner on board to make chariot carry. And then, then you go into your gold pride place. How come Brandon Despia is a tier one deck according to Master Duel meta? Uh, because it is a tier one deck. It is very, very good. Very, very good deck. Um, but at the same time, while I agree with Master Duel meta's tier list about that, know that Master Duel meta's tier list is based it's weighted really weirdly, and it's based off of only tournaments, and not ladder at all, only tournaments that are submitted to their site. So definitely take that with a grain of salt. I prefer Wielder because I have a Royal. That's fair. That's also fair. 
As long as you have one of the level 3 psychics that can summon itself, that's pretty much all you need. Skinless Maple, thank you very much for the follow. Welcome to Dust Stream. Okay. God, that's gonna put me down to 180 UR craft points. That's so low. But I really want to play this deck. All right, this is why we saved. All right. Why is Leon a UR? Does that seem that good? And that's like, you know, one of the May deck monsters always ends up having to be a UR. I guess they, they think of Leon as like the, the front man, so to speak. Dink Yurisu would definitely not be bad at all. I don't have one. Uh, that's why I'm playing the number 90. Also, number 90. I mean, there's also an argument that, like, number 90 is uh, better for, like, turn 1 as opposed to Dink Yurisu being better for turn 2. But, yeah, you could definitely play Dink Yurisu. Oh, I already saved it, right. Okay. And actually, no, yeah, that's fine. We'll do you, and you, and you. <coughs> Excuse me. All right. We got our decks all lined up here. There was one other thing that I was kind of thinking about building. But I think before I start working on that... I'm going to open up and explain uh, a dual room real quick here. So, not now, but later today, in probably about 12-ish hours, I will be streaming again, and I want to hop into this dual room and test out a bunch of new decks with y'all. But again, I'm going to be doing that later, because I definitely need to get this video on YouTube, the pack opening video, um, and also get some rest, <laughs> and also do my IRL things, and then... When I come back, we'll do the dual room. But I'm gonna open up the room now, because I think I had this idea. I actually had this idea like right when I woke up for this. I had this idea that like, what if I just left this room open like all day? And then people can hop in if they want, and then later if there are any cool replays, we can look at those and I might even like feature them in a video. So if that interests you, uh, I'm going to update Nightbot here with this room ID. And like I said, I will also be playing in this room, uh, but I will be doing it later today. So let me update that, and then I'll throw in the spectator ID as well. And so now, the nightbot should be updated. There we go. Elay17, thank you very much for the follow. And I'm going to throw this up on Twitter as well, I think. In fact, let me grab a screenshot of just this screen right here. Um, and I'm going to say something like, Hey everyone, I will be streaming a new pack testing room in about 12 hours. In the meantime, feel free to hop in and test with other folks. Um, I... I'm thinking I may even grab some interesting replays and use them for a video. Um, yeah, I'll just leave it like that. Hey everyone, I'm streaming a new pack testing room in about 12 hours. In the meantime, feel free to hop in and test with other folks. I think I may even grab some of the replays and use them for a video. I should do this more often. I should just leave dual rooms open. Just so, like people can hang out, you know?
Okay. Uh, there is one other deck that I was kind of thinking about building. Um, and it is going to be a bit of a cope. <laughs> I don't like using that word for decks usually, but uh, this is Sprite Synchro, so we're, we're coping a little bit here. But I had some ideas regarding Sprite Synchro. Namely, I did find a combo line that actually allows you to set up a sprite. Oh my god, let me just search up Speedroid. I found a combo line that lets you search up or lets you end on uh, the Baron plus Dispater plus a sprite board. So, for whatever that's worth. That's cute. I'm not saying it's going to be like good, but I, mean, I don't think it'll be bad either. We'll see. We'll start with that. Uh, we play the adventure line too. That's six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yep. What is the rest of this list? Who did I send it to? I sent it to Zeke recently. Oh no, I, I did it in the, the Discord server. That's right. <laughs> yeah, this list is like that Bernie Sanders meme where it's like, we can we can still combo with Sprite Synchro, here's how. <laughs> but uh, Assault Synchron plus Tuning is actually still, I mean, uh, rather, Assault Synchron plus Sprite Blue uh, is still a full combo in this in this particular iteration. Oh, let's pay our Master Duel tax real quick. Something like that. Um, and then, what else was there? Oh, right, duh, we need Cherubini. Actually, I pro well, that stuff's probably over here, right? The Hater, Baron, Excel, regular Stardust. Oh yeah, we need our good friend Cupid Pitch. And we also need Excel Synchron. Hmm. What's the rest of this extra deck look like? I can also figure it out later if I really want to. What does Z put in? Stuff like IP, just sprite stuff that makes sense. Yeah, because I think I want this to be like. A little bit more sprite centered, honestly, than previous builds were. So maybe we also put in like Avermax. Um, play Sheng Yang. We'll just leave it like that for now. Cupid Pitch is part of a mini archetype. Ye, definitely. Sure, you get free and change wrestling too. Yep, that's exactly what we're doing. No PK package, not for this deck. Although, I mean, maybe. Think you're missing Jet or do you not play it? Um, I was initially not going to play Jet, but I think I'm going to make this more of a sprite centered like style of deck. Hmm. And then we could, well, what if I took out like one of each of these and then and then I could even do something like, like, we don't even need to play Smashers, like something like this. All right, so uh, I want to show you, I know there's a card missing in the extra deck, by the way, but I want to show you all the combo line for this and what I've been cooking. Let me show you what's going on with this style of deck here. I, I talked about this in the Discord already, uh, like last week, I think, but now that I can actually show it in, in the game, like in engine, it's like boom, 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 something like that. 
Shishupta, we could try it. I haven't labbed that much yet. I'm still labbing this deck out a little bit, but let me show you what's going on here. All right. Um, mainly looking for Assault Synchron plus Sprite Blue uh, to do like the full combo line. No sprite monster here, but this obviously still has like a ton of plays. Cool thing about Terra Top, this is actually like secret sprite support, because you can do something like this. Right? Activate Terra Top. Grab Vtox Tom Borg. And throw that out. And then you link those two for Cherubini. And we get to activate here. And the Enchantress. Bump this up. Enchantress F. Grab the Right of Arm Seer. We have the Griffin Rider in hand, of course, but yeah. Um, and so, like, I don't know if I would do this, like, per se with a hand like this, but, you know. The idea of playing the Terra Top and why I've called... Oh, and then also, yeah, of course, we summon out the Gryphon Rider. But uh, why I've often called Terra Top Secret Sprite Support is that it, Terra Top by itself gets you this setup here. And as long as you have literally any level 2 monster, you can then just immediately pivot into Sprite plays. Or I wouldn't even necessarily go for Gigantic here. Well, I guess I'm not playing the Nimble Engine, so I probably would, but... You can do something like this. Uh, if I was playing the Nimble Engine, I would go for a Sprint there, but... And again, I might not even necessarily make this play here. I just want to show off how the uh, Terra Top pivots into a Sprite board here. Alright, and then we can grab this. And then you can do something like, you know, turning these two into Elf. starter out, you know, either red or carrot. Whichever one you prefer. I generally prefer carrot. Well, I don't know. It's like so dependent on the board, on what you think you're playing against, you know, all that fun stuff. So there you go. This is why Terratop is secret sprite support, even outside of a synchro build, is because this is what Terratop plus literally any level 2 monster that you can normal summon gets you. It could be a vanilla. Does literally does not matter as long as it has a level of seal. So, that's already pretty neat, but I want to show you all the synchro combo. For that one, we are going to need Assault Synchron and Sprite Blue. A wild Kiwi Tail, thank you very much for the follow. Welcome to the stream. This is not Assault Synchron plus Sprite Blue. Ah, this is also why the Nimble Beaver limit hurts so much. Like, if Nimble Beaver were at 3, you could also just play Nimble Beaver with Assault Synchron. It would also be a full combo, but... A full Synchro combo, that is. Again, these hands all have plays, by the way. Like, I just want to specifically show off the full Synchro line. Hey, hey, love your YouTube videos. Thank you so much. That's very kind. I really appreciate that. This is... Not a full line, because I need my normal summon. Again, I need exactly Assault Synchron plus Sprite Blue. And yet again, uh, you do not need exactly those to do combos, period. But I really want to show off this line. I worked really hard to figure this out. <laughs> so I want to be able to... Oh, come on, just give me a Sprite Blue. So I really want to be able to show it here. I say I, I looked really hard. I basically sat down for like two hours and just like read every monster with 600 defense. Just try to figure out, like, what I could add. And then I realized I had the perfect target all along. Come on. 
<laughs> you're also kind of witnessing the process I go through with making combo guide videos too. When I need to land on a specific hand or a specific two card combo to show off a specific line, this is like, this is all the behind the scenes stuff is what's happening right here. Thank God they added the retry button uh, in the update a few months ago because before that you had to surrender back out and then go all the way back in. <laughs> and it was much more irritating. Come on. Like, I know Sprite Blue is at 2, but it still shouldn't be this hard to get that opening hand. Or get Blue at all. I am just not seeing Sprite Blue in any of these opening hands. I'm trying to think if that hand would be combos, because you could, like, special the Assault Synchro and attribute it for the Sarinir, and then summon the Druid Swarm. Does that get you anything, though? Here we go. All right, uh, here is the full synchro combo. You already showcased Super Heavy Samurai as you do it later. Um, I will be doing that later. I haven't played Super Heavy Samurai. I don't plan to for this stream. I'm actually probably going to end after I show off this combo line uh, because I need to get the pack opening video on YouTube. I need to do some work on Patreon, and then I need to <laughs> lay down before I, I go to work, <laughs> and then, uh, yeah. Um, but, let me start with this. Okay, so, if you open Assault Synchron, press Sprite Blue, even with Chaos Ruler Band, we'll still get you a Sprite Board plus um, Baron and Dissipator, and here is how. We're going to start by activating our Assault Synchron's effect. Let's special summon that right over here. Uh, special summon our Sprite Blue next. And of course, trigger the Sprite Blue effect. We're going to use that to add Jet. And now we can throw down the Jet and use Jet F for the starter. We're going to make our old friend Cupid Pitch with Assault Synchron and Sprite Blue. Now, previously, we would use the Cupid Pitch effect to grab Caligo Clockrow, um, and that would special summon itself alongside the Chaos Ruler uh, to pivot into Sprite Plays. But with Chaos Ruler Band, uh, we're going to end up switching our target. Fuck! You know what? I just realized I totally forgot a card for this deck. Damn. That sucks. Okay. <laughs> I forgot one card that we actually need for our combo line, and it's going to look really weird. Which means I'm going to have to throw back hands for a Sprite Blue again. This is going to look really weird, but this is actually 100% needed. We're going to play Junk Synchron. Um, let's take out... You don't even really need Bestials in this deck, to be 100% honest. Like, they're not part of our combo line. But, I guess for the time being, we'll just take this out. Okay, <laughs> now we just gotta get a hand with Sprite Blue and Assault Synchron again. We searched so long for that right hand. <laughs> I guess we could open uh, Assault Synchron Red and Jet as well, something like that, but... Also, yeah, again, welcome... <laughs> well, you're, you're getting a very behind-the-scenes glance of what making a combo guide video is like. Beautiful. Love it. Here it is. Alright, we're right back in it. Alright, so like I said, we're going to special summon Assault Synchron, start with that. Then we can throw down the blue next to it. Blue F for Jet. Jet F to add the starter. And now we make it to Cupid Pitch. We're going to bump its level up to 6. Okay, now, <laughs> as I was saying, uh, we're going to make Excel Synchro Stardust here. Just throw that down right over here. Board placement doesn't like super duper matter for this, but... Keep a Pitch will be Chain Link 1, Excel Synchro Stardust is going to be Chain Link 2. Excel Synchro will of course grab back that Assault Synchron. And now Cupid Pitch 
Our target for Cupid Pitch is Speed Roaring Terror Top. This card has 600 defense, by the way. Now we normal summon Terror Top. Still gets its effect when normal summoned, by the way. I'm gonna add the Takatom Borg. And we're gonna special summon the Takatom Borg. Now, we're gonna make Excel Synchron using Assault Synchron and one of the threes. Doesn't really matter which one you use. Okay, this is why we need Junk Synchron, because I need to make Excel Synchron level 2. When we get Revolution Synchron, that's also level 3, by the way, and you can dump that instead of Junk Synchron, which is obviously, like, way, 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 way better. But for the time being, we're going to dump Junk Synchron, and we're going to decrease the level, or reduce the level, by 2. Now, we're going to activate Excel Synchro Stardust Staff. Tribute it. And some in regular Stardust from our extra deck. This will then allow us to go directly into the Dispater using these two. Yes, you can play this without adventure. Alright, there's the Dispater. That'll also proc the Assault Synchron effect, by the way, um, because we tributed a Dragon Synchro Monster. But here's the thing about Assault Synchron and doing this combo line, right? is that Assault Synchron needs to already be in the graveyard when you activate Excel Stardust effect to summon Stardust Dragon. And that's the only way you're going to get this effect to proc here. That's why we go into Excel Synchron, and that's why we need to play Junk Synchron as a result. It's entirely to be able to set up this activation, but it's definitely worth it. Because Assault Synchron banishes itself to bring back the Excel Stardust. And hey, look at that. Now we have a Banished Monster to summon with Dispater. From here you can make the Baron. And now we can activate our Sprite Starter. Uh, we already did Blue and Jet, so we're going to grab like either Red or Carrot here. And this leftover Terra Top can be used to go into Elf. Also, depending on what you're playing, if you are playing like the Nimbles or something else you want to bend, you can also potentially go into Sprint here, but. And there you go. Something like that, basically, uh, is what Assault Synchron plus Sprite Blue will get you. It's not like the most full sprite board. Um, well, actually, again, depending on what you choose to play in the main deck, potentially with Sprint it could be. Um, also, it would really only take one more level two, or not even just a level two, like literally any extender from this point would also get you to a more full, more full sprite board. Like, to be fair, you could still make Gigantic here if you really wanted to. Like, Gigantic for Carrot and, like, maybe a second elf somewhere, but, like, that's so many extra deck slots to really not do too much extra um, without any extenders, but there you go. That's that's basically the combo line that I labbed out recently. Have a nice day. I have to go. Hope you have a nice day as well. I'm actually about to go here myself um, as well because, like I said, I need to get started on that YouTube video and ideally lay down. That would be nice too. <laughs> so... Um, yeah, like I said, uh, everyone, uh, feel free to use the dual room. Um, if I see cool replays in here, I will definitely feature them on a, a YouTube video. Um, but yeah, if anyone wants to test, or just in general, without having to be stressed out about ranked ladder, uh, feel free to use the dual room. Here are the details for it, and I will do that in chat as well. Uh, and like I said, I will be hopping into this dual room myself later today in about 12 hours. I will stream again, and we will test Super Heavy Samurai, as well as other new decks here. But, uh, let's see. Yeah, I think it's going to go ahead and do it. Dual room. It'll be fine. I mean, it'll be fine for 12 hours. I've, I've definitely had dual rooms open for much longer, so it shall be fine. Let's go ahead and find somebody to raid. Who else would be crazy enough to be on right now but Eclipse? Alongside myself, of course. So let's go say hi to Eclipse. Uh, again, we will be back later today. Hope everyone has a good day. Um, and yeah, I will see you all later.
Bye.